أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإن كنتم على سفر ولم تجدوا كاتبا فرهان مقبوضة فإن أمن بعضكم بعضا فليعد الذي اؤتمن أمانته وليتق الله ربه ولا تقتم الشهادة ومن يقتمها فإنه عاثم قلبه ومن يقتمها فإنه عاثم قلبه والله بما تعملون عليم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله In the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful All praises are due to Allah May the peace and blessings be upon his prophet Brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, Insha'Allah, we will conclude our debt, debt uh, sort of contract today um, because it's been a few weeks. Since we've been looking about this very important ayah, the longest ayah in the Quran, of course, deserves a lot of attention. Because it's not the longest ayah for mm -hmm. nothing. There is wisdom behind it. And us today, especially uh, living in the 21st century, helps clarify our relationship so that we would stay safe. It's not like security. Security not only of wealth, also health in our lives. Without security, we know what is going to happen. Chaos in our world. When there is no trust, there will be no trust. And our lives will just be like the lives of other animals. The beast hunting each other. That is not the way Allah created us as humans. Allah has given us the resonance so that we can think and faculties to understand and to live humbly and respectfully. So Imam al-Razi Rahmatullahi alayhi had mentioned few things about contract in general and I have it here on our board Bayh bi kitabatin wa shuhudin Remember well, contracts are in three categories. Three. Bayr bi kitabatin wa shuhud. Number one is that which is based on kitaba to what? Allah Allah. To document, in right? In writing. In writing. Wa shuhud. Umar, what is shuhud? Witnesses. Witnesses. That which is based on writing it down 
and that it will not complete until we what? have witnesses. Don't forget. Even if it has to do with your imam to protect you and I, write it down. To protect our relationship, have witnesses. Why? Muhammad, do we know why? Because we are humans who forget. So, writing documentation would help us understand what really happened. So, Kitaba was shown. Look at, we're talking about 1,400 years back, way. But it's talking about knowledge of writing very important and shahood very important but writing must be what must be must be based on trustworthiness and witnesses based on what trustworthiness remember that When we are writing a contract, preferably in our 21st century, we need people who know the subject. Not just anybody. No. People who have the knowledge of it. Not only that, have your witnesses. That's the more. Number two. That's what we'll be discussing today. What about if there is no access of writing, no witnesses present? What do we do? That is the next stage. Then we need to put something down a security pledge that must be accepted, taken. What about the Dean? Abraham? What? What's that? <laughs> Your name? Badran. Badran. Brother Badran came to me, Imam, I need money. I said, but Badran, how much? And he said, 20,000. I said, okay, 20,000, what do you pay? You know, we don't have anybody to write down and witnesses. He said, yeah. But right now, Imam, outside, I have my Lexus. And that Lexus will be secured. This is the key. But I need the money. You know what I would say, right? No, Brother Badran, we are fine. We are fine. You and I are good. Just take the money and then bring it as agreed. But Allah said, don't do that. Then do not anything could happen. Then do it. Your life is not in your hands. So take the Lexus and the Lexus. Am I going to put it down for it to be breathed? <sighs> I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to drive it. But when I break something, who's going to fix it? Yeah. Those days, what they would give is, well, this is my camel. Well, this is my cow. This is my animal. Will I enjoy it? This is my horse. Sure. What about the 
the milk of the cow. As agreed. As agreed. That is our class today. Farihanun bay birihanin makabula. Security pledge. Uh, some scholars have mentioned mortgaged. That would be taken. That which would be accepted. And the moment Brother Badran brings me my money back, I'm not going to tell Brother Badran that, uh, well, I'm going to New York City and I would like to drive your Lexus. No, it's done. Given me, given him back. That is what Islam is telling us. The last one is Bayul Amana transaction that is based on trust. Trust. Well, brother, I came to Brother Badran and said, Brother Badran, this is what I need. He said, Imam, how much? I said, 5,000. He said, 5,000? Wait. Went in, bring the money. Said, Imam, this is 5,000. The trust between you and I. Okay? No witnesses, nothing. But, Imam, this is 5,000. Let's remember. I need my money in three months. That's it. No writing, no witnesses. And no mortgage or any security. So these are the three types of transactions. Preferably, I'll come to you, Allah. Preferably, go with number one. Preferably. Don't go to number three if you have access to number one. If number one did not work, then go to number two. If number two did not work, then you guys did not write. No access of writing. But today, Brother Badran, we need to write it down. You and I sign it. Although there are no witnesses. Okay? Well, Imam, I'm giving you 5,000. Problem. Let's write it down. You, well, Imam, this is the paper. Write it. I write. And then I sign. You sign. What is not present is what? Shuhud. Witnesses are not there. There are people who would say, no, we don't need the witness. Well, if you say we don't need a witness, it has become what? Bayul Amana. This is Amana, trust. Between you and I, between you and I. There are even scholars who have said the first one has been abrogated by the second and third. No, no abrogation here. We respect those scholars. But sometimes we have to look at what is the best option. The best, number one, writing it down with witnesses. If that is not possible, then it is about security. Put something as security. If that is not possible, then it has become a trust between you and me. In our 21st century, we need to write it down. <laughs> Muhammad, you write, right? Nobody here that's not right, except in some village in Africa or somewhere. But other than that, we live in a scientific world and we need to do things right. But what about if Brother Uthman chose? No, Imam, I'm not going to write it down. Take it. And you are able to give me, fine. If not, pray for me. Remember what I told you about Dr. Tai? When we were putting down our book, and these guys were eating our money. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and I spoke to Brother Tai, he said, look, I'm giving you this money. If, inshallah, in the future, 
you have to give it to me. If not, it's between me and Allah. It is Sadaqah. I'm not going to hold you accountable in the hereafter. Yes, sir. Oh, let's write it down. No. <laughs> Don't write it. Dr. Musarra Chaudhry, no, Imam, don't write it. And Amalia, no, don't write it. And others who are in the community, don't write it. Brother Osman, don't put it in a paper. <laughs> That's the trust. But if it is a debt, it is prepared to be stricken down. That is very, very Yes, Khalifullah. Um, actually, you answered it. That is good. <laughs> but I have another question. Okay. So, nowadays there's still, like, you know, security deposits and stuff like that. So, is it possible to mix one and two together and say, like, in exchange for this loan, like, in writing, basically, I've given this as a security deposit? Yes! Okay. Yes, sec this is security deposit. Yes, you know that's nothing wrong with that. I'm giving this two thousand, three thousand as security deposit. Yes, so that you don't break your stuff. Mm -hmm. Because if you break it, we're gonna fix it out of what the security deposit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now what I mean is, like even like mixing that with number one, like making that a contract as well. Aha! Uh -huh. Making that. As a contract, there are those who said fine. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Putting the number three and number two, you know, with number one, yeah. yeah, there's nothing wrong with that in the age that we live in today. Okay. Uh, there are witnesses, yes, and it's written down, and also security, yeah, okay. to protect our property. Okay. Absolutely, yes. Any other? Okay. Like no. right now also like say you and some guy or whatever you have a deal or whatever and then you go to say to the bank or whatever like the notary public. Yes. And sign both of you. Yes. The person is standing or whatever, you know. Absolutely. So that's a legal contract, but is that still applied here? Absolutely. It's applied here, however, the banking system is a little bit different. With regards to people, there are people who are talking about riba and all that, you can mix it. So we will do it out of what? Necessity. Al mashakka to tajlibu taysir. You know, I need money to do something, and there is no way to get the money. What should I do? Of course, al mashakka to tajlibu taysir. Then I go to my bank, request. And then not notarize, and then you are good to go because every and that is this year also would go to Allah to Muhakkama, one of the basic principles. Every country, every culture, every society has its own way of doing things. Every culture, although riba is clear. We are forced to take it because there is no any other way. And we will ask Allah for forgiveness. Because living, especially in our world today, I don't care where you live. You can claim to be living in Islamic world. Islamic world is this. But what? The Western world. Ours is to do whatever we can to avoid falling into river. Especially debt, because believe me, it is a killer. Mm. And then rely intrinsically on Allah. So yes, brother Uthman. Yeah, but this question I just asked, I'm not talking about riba. I'm just talking about two people. Yes. They just uh, write something. And notarize. Notarize. You don't have even to be in a bank. You could be in a post office. It could be anywhere. Thank you. you, just, uh, you to know. notarize, right. of Allah. Notarization or notary would stand in a position of what? Authority. Or authority. I would agree with you, authority, but more. Like trust. Witness. Trust. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's well, that's why he's the father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, witness. Mm -hmm. Because.
because authority has come. Yeah. And who would say this is not right? Because authority has signed. They're the most official. Yeah. yeah. That is even the most official. Mm -hmm. So yeah, notarization or to notarize is actually in our world today a lot to Muhammad. That would be actually the best. Because we read that when witnesses are witnessed, they should what? They should abide. When called to witness, they should be there. So guess what? If the authority has stumped, it is the authority that would respond when there is a dispute. You know, and that is part of the challenges that, although Ghana is one of the most peaceful part of Africa, but today they are in trouble. The election, starts, the election <laughs> is, yeah. and I need to advise them today uh, about making sure they follow the process. That's the most important. Follow the process. Follow the process. If you follow what you are putting down as a process of election in Ghana, you are safe. Or in any part of the world. The problem is, including us, America, today, the problem is we don't want to follow the process. I want to follow my own desire. It's not going to work. Follow the process and accept the outcome. Don't forget that. To accept the outcome. Follow the process, accept the outcome. We are all safe. But the problem is, we refuse to follow the process, and for, for that, the outcome is what? Negative, corrupt, and people would reject it. Follow the process, accept the outcome, and rely on Allah. That's it. That's the third one. Rely on Allah. Follow the process and accept the outcome. Rely on Allah. That's it. If you refuse this, then you are an evil person. I'm going to tell them. <laughs> yeah. If you refuse this, I don't care who you are. You are an evil one. Follow the process because there is a process. Accept the outcome because of what else? And then rely on Allah. If you are not, then you are an evil person. I'm going to tell them today. They, they may not like it. <laughs> yes. But what if the process is broken? <sighs> what happened? Being a lawyer or future lawyer. What do you mean by the process being broken? What do you mean by that? Because the process, every country has its process of election, right? Mm -hmm. Which has been, you know, maybe the parliament and then the president, everybody signed it and accepted, right? Mm -hmm. That is the process. How come the process is broken? I'm asking you. So, just because something is written and organized in a in writing in a good way doesn't mean that politicians, for example, play by the rules. So I don't know. I don't know the affairs of Ghana, but it sounded like there's corruption. And if that's the case, what if the vote, the reason the outcome is, the outcome is because the because they refuse to accept the process. The process, Allah, mm -hmm. is that we agree on something, right? I agree with you. Yeah. Politicians do not play by, play by the rules. I agree. The reason they don't play by the rule is that, by the rule is that, the process is not being followed. You have a nice process, but the politicians are some of them are corrupt. Mm. 
and they choose not to follow the process. This is what we said. When election has been done, this and this and this must sign to be certified. But if that is not followed, or maybe somebody is given some bribe, and he would sign something different than what is being practically given. Go back. <laughs> okay? So, yes, I agree that you know, if you if the process is there and everybody follows the process, but because of corruption, I agree. That's, Cor yes. That's why I would say be careful of saying people are evil. If if the process isn't working and people are cheating and people don't want to accept the outcome, that's human nature, I think. I think it's, it would be a little too far to say evil person. That's why I was saying that. Hello for love. No. It's back in love. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what is happening right now here in America. Yeah. You know, even they got the best system. Yeah. Yeah. America is the mother of <laughs> democracy in our modern world. Okay? America is the mother yeah. of democracy. Look, they are in Ghana, they are, uh, what do you call it, Qatar, you know, Qatar has an organization, whenever there is vote, they are there. Yeah. But look at our system here. You know, so our system here is what? Is it broken? No. It's not broken. Not the election system. Well, not the election system. The system is not broken, right? But somebody refused to accept the process. Yeah, I mean, look at what's going on in Trump right now. Electoral college is broken. So it is not that the process is broken. The people are broken. The process is. Every country has such beautiful, beautiful system of election. But it is the people that are broken. And you need to tell them that they are evil. Now, in Ghana, maybe around five, six people are dead already. Okay? Because of lack of following the process. You know, and if you tell those people that they are evil, are you wrong? Unless if you are telling me because you politicians, you are you are broken, you. Including you. That, that's it. <laughs> Learning politics. You are broken. Why? Because some of the politicians, I don't care what, they want to cheat mm. to stay in power. We have seen it in America. You want to cheat mm -hmm. to stay in power. And because of that, a lot of people are hurt, are killed. Well, give me your word, diplomatic, you call it diplomatic word. Tell me, those people who contribute to the killing of innocent people, how do we call them? Give me your diplomatic, diplomatic. political word. I mean, if you're talking about the specific group that are killing people, then I'm not going to stop you from calling them evil. <laughs> but if you're talking about people who are upset with the process being played with, I would say be responsible. Don't, don't no. act in a way that will hurt the majority or the collective. Okay, okay. So you divided people here into two. Those leaders who cause people to die, and the rest of the people, the rest of the people don't call them evil. Call them what? Call them to be responsible. To be responsible. Yeah. And the leaders, what do you call them? To be responsible to? Yeah. After they've killed some people? Well, I mean, those people, you know, they need to be held accountable. Who would hold them accountable and they are the leaders? So the process is broken. <laughs> yeah, no one can hold them accountable if they're the leaders. Then. Oh my, leave this man. <laughs> this man has been politician now. <laughs> he has a point there, though. Yeah, he has a point. I agree. <laughs> I agree that he has a point. 
You see, and that is why we are discussing sometimes mm -hmm. this issue before I take it to them. Yeah. When you call them evil, it may cause them to be angry. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. And 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 sometimes I just want them to be to wake them up. You know, words like be responsible does not wake them up. Yeah. Because he thinks he's doing the right thing. But you need to give them a word that will fit what they're doing. Because there are people giving people money. Go out there and I don't care what you do. What do you call them? Call them be responsible. One of Allah, sometimes you need to call people who they are. To wake them up. Some of our leaders are just evil. I'm sorry. I agree. Okay. No, if you're talking about leaders, I have no problem. Okay. <laughs> okay, then we agree. The people. You see, politicians, we agree. Because I'm going to invite you, you are the lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's very, very disturbing. Uh, that is, you know, we don't know where it will lead them. But definitely, it is a very difficult time in there. My, my concern is, I just don't want my chef to be accused of defending powerful people. Um, doing so something wrong, so that's why I was making sure. Look, look, you know very well. You cannot please everybody. You think your chef is safe? You know it. You you think the world is saying, oh, Imam Abdul Rahman, Masha Allah. Wallah, if the world agrees that Imam Abdul Rahman, MashaAllah, then Imam Abdul Rahman is doing something wrong. Mm. <laughs> Allah. If the world agrees that I am best, oh, MashaAllah, I'm the best, then Wallah, there is something wrong with me. Mm. You cannot please everybody. You just have to do the right thing. You see, right now, the system in Ghana is two. These people that are celebrating based on broken whatever they created and people that are not celebrating because they believe that they've been cheated. Who should you support? Other than saying, go back to the system. Accept the system. And accept whatever outcome is out of the system. Mm -hmm. That's it. So those celebrating come back because there is a system in, in Ghana or in any part of the world that says that if elections are disputed, go to what? There is, there is what? Court. Go to court. Okay. Well, follow the system. Go to court and see the outcome. Okay. And, you know, but don't kill. Don't take human life. Well, let's forget about politics. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have read what in kuntum ala safarin. But if you are on a journey, meaning the longest ayah that we read is based on we are leaving at home. We are not journeying. We are not traveling. But what about if we are traveling, when I'm taking to Katiba, and there is no access of writing, farihanum makabuda, then have security mortgage, have security pledge. I'm gonna give you my something. That something should be as a position of what? Witnesses. And what? Right. Because you've given me your car, as we have uh, given example with Brother Badran, you've given me your car that, well, Imam, if you bring the money back, or if I, Badran, when you bring the money back, I give you your car back. And if it is an animal, I will continue to enjoy that animal, either riding it or using it, but not in a way that will cause harm to the animal. Well, how? I 
gave this man to fix my land cruiser and he's coming back to your shop. And then Ali said, it's Imam. So no, don't worry. Land cruiser, you are very strong truck. I'm going to drive you as much as I can. Then I give it to the Imam later. The Imam is my Imam. So Ali drove it. Went to New York City, came back. Went to Philadelphia, came back. Ali! What happened with my mileage? <laughs> 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 this happened realistically. And I said, Ali, you took a lot. I gave you the car 200 and something miles. And it's now 300 and over. What happened? He said, Imam, Imam, calm down. I was just driving it to make sure that around, to make sure that <laughs> the car is good. I said, Ali, you took a lot. Fear a lot. Now, that example, you know, I'm just kidding because he's going to come back to his shop and he's not going to charge me a dime. <laughs> <laughs> but do you agree? <laughs> <laughs> or you need to know more details. <laughs> so, uh, the issue is that when somebody gives you a trust or security or pledge, Please, because it's a debt between you, it's a trust between you, don't overdo it. You see, a lot of people in Africa, I'm giving an example because that's where I came from. You lock your car, <coughs> thinking you are coming back here. And then your uncle's brothers did enjoy in the car. And one of the brothers, he, his son-in-law, or uh, somebody-in-law, drew the car and had an accident. This is a brand new car. And he took it to a shop. He fixed it without telling his uh, father-in-law that this is what happened. And when he came home, took his car, driving it, he fell for something wrong with this car. So he took it to Toyota to check. And they showed that this car was involved in an accident a couple of times. No, I bought it brown new. Said, well, ask the people you left the car with. So he started investigating, including his mom, who knew about it. No, there was nothing wrong. You sure, mom? And he called one of the friends of that in-law or something, and he said, look, you have $100. He said, no. So look, I'm going to give you $200, 300 dollars he said, 300? Sorry. I'll take you to the mechanic who fix it. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'll take you to the mechanic who fix it. He said, okay, good. They went there. And the mechanic looked. He said, oh my God, this is the car. Is it running good? He said, yeah. He said, oh, the car was brought here, yeah, you know, two times. What happened to it? Oh, they had an accident and I fixed it and... Uh, Okay, okay, thank you very much. So you fix it? He said, yeah. Can you prove to me that you fix it? He said, why not? He said, I'll give you, you know, I'm just from the United States, I'll give you, you know, $50 and $100. He gave $100, he signed and gave him the document. So he went and grabbed his uh, in-law and said, well, tell me, he said, I told you this car, he said, this is the document of the mechanic who fix it. This, you know how the people are. <laughs> no, Allah, you will know. He went to mother. Allah, he does not. That's the way the car is. <laughs> and he said, my brother, I'm going to sell it. Actually, he was thinking of leaving it. 
for the family, he gives the mother and they were taking the mothers and all that. He sold it. And they said, people today cannot be trusted. I'm not generalizing, but in most cases, only few appreciate. So let's look again and again what Allah the Almighty is telling us. For in Amina Ba'adukum Ba'da, for you add the lady to me na Amanata. Well, the first one is security. Okay? That's what we said, that you have to give something as a pledge in case there is no access of right. What about if that is not possible, then trust. Trust. Use trust to deal with each other. That I'm giving you these days on trust, you bring it back, these on trust. But in our world today, please write it down. In our world today, let's do the act of writing. Or oh, you sign, I sign, it's enough. There are no witnesses. Yes, it's true because of what is happening today so that it will remind us. So if there is no access of writing, there is no pen, well then, trust between us is enough. He who is the dirt. He who owes, you know, who is being owed. He who was taking the loan. Yatakillah. Must fear Allah. Do not, do not subtract, reduce what has been given to you. Likewise, you who have given. Do not add more into it. Wala taktum shahada. The witnesses do not abandon them. Do not conceal your witnesses. Whatever you do, do it right. Do not conceal your witnesses. Anyone. Anyone who conceals the trust, the witnesses, his heart is sick, his heart is sinful, his heart is wrong, he has a bad heart. His heart is sinful. What does that mean? If you know that this is actually what was agreed upon and you refuse to do it you're in trouble because one has a very wicked heart wrong heart Allah knows it all whatever you do surely Allah most. So in sum, let's remember that there is nothing so important in relationship like trust. Nothing like trust. Again, generally, in everything that you do, there is nothing like security. Trust will bring you security. Trust will bring you security. And because of that, a lot of people, because of the dunya, have lost trust. And for that matter, lost security. Look, 
you may have, you may be the richest person in your locality. But if you don't have trust, you're in trouble. Because just when you are no more in this life, what people will say. Oh, this is bad, this person is bad, this person is bad. And the Hadith says, there is likelihood that what people say about you is where you're going to go. Trust is very, very important. Do not destroy your trust. That's very, very important. Do not destroy it. Try to maintain, try. Yes, you cannot please everybody. There are people. I don't care what you do for them. They're going to say this person is ugly. There are people like that. But try as much as possible. In the trust way. You know yourself. You know your heart. Make sure your heart is always doing that, inshallah, which is bad. So, finally, one, writing in all transactions, writing and witnesses. Then, the second one is based on security. This is what I have to give us pledge. Standing as mortgage. Your something is with me now until you bring the money back. And the third is based on Aman. Trust. We didn't write it down, but based on trust. And in our world today, the world that we live in today, Please, make sure you document it. Make sure you write it. Even though it is only two of you. And as Brother Othman has said, you know, in terms of big banks, that you are taking some money, it is not only that, but also what? There is the notary. That notary stands for power. It is power. And it is surely the best witness that you would have today. See, this is Islam giving us a standard criteria of how to protect our lives and our properties more than 1,400 years ago. And today, you say, no, 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 take it, don't write it down. Well, if you intend it to be sadaqah, <laughs> that is different. Okay? There are times, as I've mentioned about our book, some people will give you, if you bring it back, ahla wa sahla. If not, ahla wa sahla. That is different. But if I want my stuff back, then definitely let's make sure that we write it. And write it down to the sea. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. I said we're going to stop at 12 and it's almost 12 2 now. Any quick question before we leave? Any quick question? No? Lawyer? No? <laughs> okay. If we don't have questions. No. Question. Like say a long time ago when they used to say like you give me 10 cows or whatever and cheese or whatever. I'm going to use, like you said, the milk and yeah. all that stuff. What about, you know, when they have, you know, babies and things like that. So <laughs> when they who have babies. Good. When they have babies, it is based on what is agreed between you and him because it's not like just take my cows when they are babies is based on the culture okay because for example from sudan well when this thing happened and i give you that this is what the norm dictates and that is why we said what does the, the, the culture dictate are you going to take the babies and give the cows or no the babies belong to the original owner that is based on the culture 
of that part of the world. Number two, it is based on how much, how much is given. If how much is given, and that is why we shouldn't leave it just like that. You can stipulate in it that whatever the cow had, you know, babies, that those are mine. If you agree, Allah was Allah. But other than that, surely it belongs to the first owner and not the second owner today. He can enjoy the milk. He can ride it. But whenever there is extras, because maybe the debt, if they sell those uh, little ones, may pay his debt. May pay. Therefore, we shouldn't hurt this person so much. And even scholars have mentioned. For example, this is the house. This is my house. I give it to you as a security. Can I can I sell it? No. Can I rent it? Yes. There are scholars who said yes. The house, you could rent it and benefit out of it. The cows, yeah, you can drink the milk, but the baby is based on your agreement. It's necessary. So that that would not create a problem. Tell me how Sudan, how they do it. Brother Osman. Is the babies belong to the new guy who has the, the, the cows as security? No, not really, you know. They, okay. I think they go with the Islamic rules. Yes. Yeah. I think there is a story about that in Islam. You know? Yeah. Because like you feed them and you do everything, so you spend their money. That is true. So whatever, later when you come and take them back. You have to pay. They calculate all that stuff, whatever you spend, mm -hmm. then, you know. Yeah, because there was uh, the story uh, in the time of the Prophet. So the Prophet actually took a loan from a Jew, and he left his uh, sword distant uh, with the Jew. And uh, you know, uh, uh, the Prophet died, and it was in the possession of this Jew uh, until it was actually paid, and then took it back. So there are a lot of stories pertaining to issues like that. But the most important thing is la darara wa la dirar. No harm, no reciprocating harm. If you left your property with me and I'm spending on it, yeah, of course, I have to calculate and then you pay me. Or uh, let those, some of those cows stay with me because I've been taking care of them. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, any other question? Well, thank you very much for coming. Insha'Allah, we'll see you again next week. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. But before we end the class, let it record. Ali, you need to come and take the long cruiser. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Insha'Allah.